y'all hi my name is Graciela and welcome to my wardrobe declutter I am so excited for this I have been waiting a really long time to do it but the timing has never just been quite right and it is finally time but before we get started we're actually gonna wait just a little bit longer because I wanted to hold a little bit of space open up a bit of a conversation about like kind of the nature of the declutter and like decluttering mindfully. So like a declutter is usually a good thing, right? Like nobody wants to have too much stuff. Nobody wants to feel overwhelmed, especially not by their wardrobe, which is something that we have to interact with every single day. But what I have found is that if we aren't careful, a declutter can essentially become like the second half of a binge and purge cycle for our stuff. I am especially susceptible to this with my wardrobe. I will go through all of my clothes, all of my belongings, and I'll pull out the stuff that I don't want and get rid of it. But while I'm doing that, I am going through all of my stuff and not just becoming aware of the things that I don't want but do have, but also the things that I do want but don't have. Um, I'm obsessed with knitwear, so I'll use that as an example, right? Like, if I lay out all my sweaters in a row and I pull out the stuff that I don't want and get rid of it, but then I have all of my sweaters laid out in a row that I'm keeping, and I'm looking at these sweaters, and it is becoming increasingly difficult for me to ignore the fact that that one sweater, that one sweater that I'm obsessed with, that I've been dreaming of, that my fantasy self is constantly wearing, isn't in this lineup of sweaters that I actually own. And because I've just gotten rid of like half my sweaters, it becomes very easy for me to justify to myself, oh, well, I'll just, I'll buy that one sweater and then my collection will be perfect and I'll never need to buy another sweater again. But the reality is that that mentality of, oh, well, I'll just buy one more sweater tends to last for like at least the next three or four sweaters and then I feel overwhelmed by my wardrobe again and whether it's because the new sweaters make my old sweaters seem even older or maybe I didn't like the new sweaters as much as I thought I would suddenly I'm back at square one and I'm thinking to myself oh well I need to do another declutter because I'm overwhelmed by my wardrobe again and there are all these sweaters that I don't wear and then I declutter and then the cycle starts anew. And I don't think that I need to go into too much detail as to why that is a negative spiral to be stuck in, right? Like, not only is it just consumerist and wasteful to be constantly replacing items in our wardrobes, it is also just dissatisfying. It never gives us the chance to breathe and to really enjoy the clothing that we do have and to do wear because we're always focused on the next best thing. And so my goal in bringing this up is kind of to break that cycle both in you the viewer reminding you to be mindful of your own declutters your own acquisition of clothing because the last thing that i want this video to do right is to encourage that behavior in somebody else but also in an effort to kind of strive for some accountability here obviously first step get rid of everything that i don't want and don't wear because there's no point in holding on to that but after that, my goal is to not buy any new clothing, extenuating circumstances aside, although I'm not sure what those would be, but to not buy any new clothing for at least the next six months. The reason that I am doing that is because A, I think that giving myself that sort of like limit of sorts, that like timer on when I can buy new clothing will help me like actually adjust to having a smaller closet. And I think that like having that period of time to like get used to that kind of closet will make me less likely to have that reactive instinct to just like go out and buy a bunch of new clothing because I'm like uncomfortable with how few clothes I have. And I also think that that wait time will give me the opportunity to actually contemplate like what clothes I would actually wear and what clothes I would want to buy. Because in my experience, any clothing that I want for more than six months usually becomes a staple in my wardrobe. So yeah, that is my goal. That is what I am hoping for. That's what I'm striving for. Obviously, you do not need to do anything remotely similar. You know what kind of behavior you're most prone to, but this is just what I think will help me break that cycle and 
be especially mindful in the way that I'm using my wardrobe. But without further ado, let's get decluttering. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with pants because that stack is tiny and we can get through this quickly. Um, starting off with these, these are my favorite pair of jeans. My best friend gave them to me and they're comfortable and I wear them all the time. We're keeping these. <sighs> okay, these jeans, a little bit more of a mixed bag. Um, I bought them when I was having a little bit of a Y2K moment and I still really love their silhouette, but these are too small for me. Um, when I bought them, they were a little bit tight on me and I've gained weight since then. And it is to the point where like, I cannot sit down comfortably in them. They are strangling my thighs. Um, and I just never wear them for that reason. So as sad as it is, I think that I'm going to have to say goodbye to these bad boys. Okay, so in my memories, these are way too small for me, but they're actually like just a tiny bit tight on the waist. But they're also just not my style, so I don't need to worry about whether or not they fit me. I never wear these regardless. Um, these, these are gonna go. <laughs> I love these pants. Um, they're so nice and flowy. Um, perfect for this like medium sort of spring weather. Definitely gonna keep these. Wish I had them in every color. These ones are hard. They are hiking pants. They, um, they work pretty well as hiking pants, but to be honest, I have this other pair, which is almost identical to that pair. And despite the fact that it's got like a couple of little pink stains on it, they're just a lot more comfortable and I like the silhouette better and I'm way more likely to wear these if I'm going to go hiking. So I think that I'm going to keep these and say goodbye to that other pair. Okay, moving on to shorts. This is easily my favorite pair of shorts. This is an easy keep. These shorts are covered in paint, but also I kind of love a lifestyle that necessitates owning a pair of shorts that are covered in paint. Like, you need a pair of paint shorts and these are good ones, they're lightweight, they're really comfy, and I am not afraid of ruining them because they're already ruined, so I'm gonna keep these. This is the same pair of black shorts, but in olive green. I also really like these. I also wear them all the time during the summer. I am also going to keep these. This pair of shorts I didn't know that I owned, and they're not particularly comfortable. I don't like the way they look, and I'm not gonna keep them. I have no idea where these things came from. Okay, I'm gonna admit I'm pretty conflicted on these shorts. They are the same cut of shorts as the other two that I've kept, and they are comfortable. I'm not a huge fan of this like pinstripe blue and white. Um, I just like the other two colors better. <sighs> but also, if my memory serves me correctly, I do wear them in the summer. So I don't know. I'm gonna put these in the maybe pile. These shorts I also have kind of mixed feelings about. They they suffer from that critical crotch error where like these, this like border is rolled up and then like stitched, but it happens to be stitched right where my like thighs are at their thickest and rubbed together. And so like I can't like walk around in these comfortably. And so like if given the opportunity, I would always choose the shorts that I just chose to keep. Also, I have a pair in yellow right over there, which I like way more. And this is the yellow version. Again, I, I like these much better. Um, I don't have any other yellow clothing, and so like they're cute and fun and exciting to me, and I always choose to wear these over those uh, black ones. So I'm gonna keep these. As far as mini skirts though, this is kind of too small on me. It's so short in the back and I never wear it because I'm kind of, I'm kind of past my, my pleats era. So I'm going to say goodbye to this one. Not only is this skirt pleated, which I'm not really into anymore, it also just does not zip up all the way. So, um, goodbye, tiny little green plaid skirt. I'm also going to go on a whim and say that this pink version of this exact same skirt also is not going to zip up all the way, so we could also go ahead and say goodbye to her. This mini skirt is the only mini skirt that I actually really like and wear regularly. Um, also, she has shorts. Get into it. We're gonna keep her. I forgot how shockingly comfortable this skirt is. She also has sh uh, shorts underneath and they're very comfy. But um, again, pleats, I don't really wear them anymore. <sighs> but I don't know if she's, this one is cute. I wasn't, I, I wasn't expecting to keep this, 
But now that I'm wearing it, I'm like, actually, it's really comfortable and it's really cute. And I don't need to be dogmatic about my pleats situation. I'm allowed to like pleats if I want to have a particular piece that has pleats. We're gonna put this in the maybe pile. I'm, I'm surprised by myself, but I think we're gonna put this in the maybe pile. And this is a pretty easy keep for me. I also like this one. I wear it, um, especially in the summer. It's got some good movement to it. Yeah. Moving on to the maxi skirts. It's beautiful, but I can't think of a single circumstance in which I would wear it. And that is reflected by the fact that I bought this like three years ago and I have never worn it. So <sighs> it is hard to let go of beautiful things, but I think that somebody else who lives a slightly different lifestyle would get more use out of this. This bad boy, on the other hand, favorite skirt ever, wear it all the time. I do need to like tailor it. It's a little bit too big on me. It's pinned right now, but um, love this thing. This piece I have slightly more mixed feelings about. My best friend gave it to me and it was a very sweet gift, but I, like, I really like this pattern, but like the cut kind of throws me off sometimes. Like. There's a very specific outfit in which I can wear this. I'm conflicted on this one. I think she's going in the maybe pile. This skirt I do wear. It's my most beautiful, like, goth, flowy black skirt. Um, and it's nice even when I'm not feeling particularly goth because it's just got this movement to it. Yeah, definitely keeping this one. I'm kind of obsessed with this skirt, even though it's like completely outside of my normal style. I got it from a thrift store in Woodstock and it just like has such a cool story attached to it that like every time I wear it, I just like feel like such a badass and I'm definitely going to keep this. This skirt I also really like. I normally wouldn't say that red is my color, but um, I like her, we're keeping her. This skirt is cute. But it's another one of those things that I got at a thrift store so many years ago and I've never ever worn it. Like literally, I've had this in my closet for three years and have never found an opportunity to wear it. And so, although this is cute, I am going to say goodbye to it. This skirt is another gift from my friend, the same friend who gave me that other slip skirt. And, well, that other slip skirt was kind of a maybe. This one, I think, just simply is not my style. Um, I gave it a couple wears, but I never really felt like myself when I was wearing it. Again, I think that I just... This silhouette is not the most flattering on me, so I'm gonna say goodbye to this one. This skirt I am obsessed with. It is the most beautiful thing in the world. It is so flattering. The color, the shape, the silhouette, the pattern. I love it but it doesn't button in the back. And while I wouldn't normally keep a piece of clothing that I don't fit into just in case I lose weight, I love this skirt so much. So I think that what I'm going to do is I'm not going to put this back in my closet. I'm going to put this back into a place where it cannot like taunt me with how pretty it is despite the fact that I cannot comfortably wear it. And so that way, I happen to lose weight, I can bring it back out and wear it again. But that way, it's not just sitting in my closet making me feel bad, but I can still get to keep it because it's so pretty and I don't want to get rid of it. So I think that's my plan. Okay, moving on to dresses. I love this dress. This is one of those like tiny little urban outfitters dresses that has truly stood the test of time. Like, I've had this for god knows how long and I still love it and it's holding together great, so definitely gonna keep this one. And then, and I'm especially conflicted because just the other day I was like daydreaming about having like a little white summer dress that I could just frolic around in and this feels like this could be that, but like I just really am not into the top half of it. Like, th there are some pretty serious problems with it. But like, are they problems I could solve? Hmm. I'm going to put this in the maybe pile and I'm going to try and like fix what I perceive to be the problems with this dress. This excess fabric and like this kind of like weird and unflattering bodice situation. I'm gonna try to fix that and if I can't 
I promise I will get rid of this dress, but if I can, it's a really cute dress and I don't want to throw it away without at least giving it a fair shot. This is a beautiful formal gown and it does not fit me anymore, so we're saying goodbye. <laughs> it literally doesn't go over my shoulder and flag. But yeah, this used to be a very beautiful formal gown. And it is still a very formal, beautiful gown. It's just not a beautiful formal gown on me. Um, but I wasn't actually planning on keeping it because I don't need any formal gowns. I'm just disappointed I can't try it on for you because it's really quite pretty. This is another like little uh, formal gown. I don't know if the camera is picking up on it, but it's incredibly sparkly. But like if I were to go to a formal dance or something, I wouldn't choose this. So. She can go. This dress I am not even gonna try to put on my body by myself because it's got this crazy corset in the back. But this is beautiful and um, this is the dress that I choose to wear to formal events. I'll put a couple pictures of me wearing it because like genuinely, like this is the, this, this is my favorite. Okay, moving on to tank tops. These are pretty easy. These two tank tops are literally like five years old. I never wear them because they're stained and disgusting. These tank tops are brand new and I wear them all the time because they're brand new, so we're gonna keep them. This is a shirt which I have not just one, not just two, but in fact five <laughs> different colors of. And normally I would be saying to myself, Graciela, you don't need five colors of one shirt, but I wear every single color of this shirt equally. I wear all of them frequently, like individually i wear each of these shirts at least once a week and i don't really mind the fact that it makes me seem kind of like a cartoon character so despite the fact that it is ridiculous i am gonna hold on to all five of these the same story is true for this bodysuit i have it in three different colors i wear all three colors equally and frequently so we're going to keep all three this is another easy keep thrifted her god knows how long ago I think that I'm actually going to keep this, but it's on the nice. This little number was a gift from my grandmother, and like as a piece of clothing, I really like it. Like the color and the shape is just so cool. But um, for my personal style, I just never wear this thing. So um, as sad as it is, I think I'm gonna let this one go. This this was a gift from a friend, and I tried to make it work for like at least a year now, but um, I just don't wear it. Like, I don't think that this is a color that looks very good on me, and I don't think that this is like a pattern that really works with anything else I own. So I'm gonna say goodbye. This is a nice boring basic. I wear it all the time. It's perfect for layering. We're gonna keep her. Same story with this one, perfect for layering. Kind of falling apart, holes in the pits. What you gonna do? I only ever wear her under sweaters, but I do wear her under sweaters pretty frequently, so we're gonna keep her. Um, this, this shirt was a gift from a friend and I have kind of mixed feelings about it. It is kind of transparent and like a little bit small on me at this point. It fit me when she gave it to me, but like now it's kind of, <sighs> I think, I think this is a maybe. This is another piece that I actually wear very frequently despite the fact that like on a conceptual level I don't really think it's my style. I own a lot of grey despite the fact that I don't really like it. Like I don't know where it all came from but um like I mentioned in the beginning of this video it is my goal to like not declutter and then just buy a whole bunch of new stuff and um for the moment at least this is kind of the only like loose sort of layering long sleeve that I have so even though I in an ideal world would replace this with a different color I am gonna keep it for now because I don't want to get rid of something that will then like prompt me to buy something new like I think that I can continue to make this work this, however, is just a no. Um, it is cute, but not my style. And last, but certainly not least, is this absolutely amazing piece. I mean, I mean, I mean. <laughs> um, I never wear this because I think that like my energy is just not powerful enough for this piece. And I think that it is literally criminal that somebody is not wearing this piece regularly. So I am going to say goodbye to this and um, send it off to a home where it will get the love that it truly deserves because I mean, I mean. This t-shirt I love, super comfy, hand me down from my mom so it's sentimental. It's got some sort of like hair on it. 
what you're gonna do. Um, definitely gonna keep her. Love her. Exact same story with this one. Love it. Authentic, straight from the 90s. She's super pretty, super comfy. Love her keeping her. This is another easy keep. It is from a debate competition and, um, I consider it to be good luck because I did well at this debate competition, so <laughs> we're keeping her. This t-shirt is currently actively really gross because I need to wash it. I pulled it out of the laundry, but um, I, it was in the laundry because I wore it and I really like it, so we're keeping it. Cool, I'm taking this off. This is just a plain black t-shirt. Easy keep. What else can I say? This t-shirt is kind of objectively ugly, but it's super sentimental and it's super comfy and I wear it like around the house. So despite the fact that it is objectively ugly, I am going to keep it because there's no reason I can't have objectively ugly clothing in my wardrobe if I wear it, okay? There are no rules. We're keeping this. This is another piece that is gray, but I'm still gonna hold it on to because it's really comfy and I do wear it pretty frequently. Okay, moving on to knitwear. This is the sweater I was wearing in the intro. Definitely gonna keep this one. This sweater I think was a hand-me-down. It is super threadbare and kind of falling apart. It's very sentimental to me though, and so I think that this is gonna get um, demoted to scrap fabric because that way she can live on in my various artistic projects, but um, realistically, I just don't wear this often enough to justify keeping it. This thing, I'm not even gonna bother trying on because I hate it, I never wear it, I don't know how it survived so many declutters, but we're getting rid of it. This thing I have kind of mixed feelings about, like, I like the fit of it mostly, but I never wear it because it's got that like kind of like really smooth synthetic feel. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, but like just the way that it feels on my skin bothers me and so I don't wear it and so I'm going to let it go. Um, This is super soft and like conceptually kind of cute, but like not really my style anymore. And it's also obviously way too small. So we're also gonna say goodbye to this one. My deep-seated affection for this piece is kind of interesting to me because normally I would not consider this to be something that I'm like super into. It's really bright and like stripey, which is also not normally my thing, but like I wear this all the time. It's super comfy. So Despite the fact that she really doesn't match anything in my wardrobe, I'm gonna keep her. <laughs> With every sweater I put on, my hair gets messier. Um, anyways, I love this sweater. It is so cool, right? Like, all of this patterning is just so interesting. So definitely gonna keep this. This little thing, I, to be honest, I don't wear it super often but I really, really like it, and in the outfits that I do wear it with, I really love it. So I'm just going to keep this. Um, there was a time in which I thought I could convince myself to like turtlenecks. Um, and like, if there was a turtleneck that I was gonna like, it would be this. I love these like neutrals, the texture is really great, but unfortunately, I just can't bring myself to like turtlenecks. I feel strangled. I don't like things touching my neck like this. It is weird and I don't like it. So um, I'm going to call this a failed experiment and let her go. This is like such an amazing cardigan. It's like so pretty. Like it's got this like amazing intricate floral design on it. It carries over to the sleeves. Even like the buttons are little clusters of berries, but I just, I never wear this and I think that it might have something to do with like just the way that it fits me even though it is really beautiful and like this was a gift from my sibling too but I think that I'm gonna let this one go because have I had my yoga strap hanging from my belt loop this entire time? <laughs> I certainly have. Sorry about that. Can't help it. <laughs> this cardigan, however, I really like. It's like that perfect like late spring, early fall sort of weight to it where it's just like keeps your arms covered but it isn't warm. I'm gonna keep this. This piece is interesting. I'm not sure why they categorized it as knitwear. It's definitely more of a shirt, but um, I guess it has a hood. 
I think that it definitely has its place in my wardrobe. So definitely gonna keep this. And this piece is really hard because this is something that I wanted for a really long time. This sweater is from Reformation and it is in a lot of ways exactly what I was hoping for. It's got such a like soft, beautiful, high quality knit. It's like so cozy. I like that quality so much. And like on a fundamental level, I actually really like this fit, like these kind of looser sleeves and like this room really, what I was hoping for was kind of like a variant of that green sweater from earlier that I loved so much, just in like more of a beigey neutral sort of color. Unfortunately, I think that this exact sort of beigey neutral color really washes me out. And it also, I think probably I should have gotten it in a size up because while it does fit me, obviously, like I'm not like strangled in it or anything, like the fabric is bunching up in the armpits and like when I bend my elbows and the elbows in a way that I personally find really uncomfortable. I know a lot of people aren't bothered by it, but like I have very specific sensory needs and like whenever I'm wearing this, I'm like trying to like pull it down off of my shoulders and I think, hey, that's just inevitably going to stretch out the sweater and ruin it. And B, I don't want to be wearing clothing that I'm like struggling against. So, but I really love this sweater and I really wanted it for a long time. But I think as sad as it is, as sad as it is, I am going to let this one go. Um, my final and most glorious piece of knitwear was the most recent addition to my collection. And um, I'm obsessed with this and I don't think I have to explain why. It's a little bit itchy, I'm not gonna lie. I think that I need to condition it, but like this is the best thing in the world and you can't argue with me about it. We're keeping this one, obviously. Okay, moving on to hoodies and sweaters. The city I'm definitely gonna keep. Um, it's got a huge hood, which I really like. The city is really interesting to me. I bought it, well, I didn't buy it. I got it as a gift in like middle school. And like, this is very middle school me. It's like this graphic, like it's got things on the sleeves, it's black and this is not my style anymore. All indicators should say that I shouldn't like this anymore, but I do. And it's like not even a sentimental thing. Like who wants to remember what I wore in middle school, right? It's like legitimately, I just still like it. And like, that's kind of weird for me, but like, I'm still, I'm gonna keep it. There's no reason not to. Um, This is a very interesting piece of clothing. It's, it's very long, as you can see. Um, <laughs> And I don't know if it's like meant to be that long or if it's just like meant to be like super scrunched up. But either way, the um, material is not my favorite. And also like what am I supposed like what am I supposed to do with this? What am I supposed to do with this? I don't know. We're not keeping this. I never wear this. It's super weird. Just a strange piece of clothing. Okay, so I am in an interesting position where I own two of the exact same sweater. It's a long story, and I'm not gonna get into it. But um this one is like super torn up. And this one is covered in paint. And between those two options, I'm gonna choose to keep the one that's covered in paint so it can be my paint sweater. I need a paint sweater, that's the lifestyle I lead. And I'm gonna let go of this one that's super torn up because like. And this hoodie is cute and comfy and I actually like it quite a lot, all things considered. So I'm gonna hold it with this one. And then as far as jackets go, this is my one singular winter jacket and it's really nice. Um, nice big hood, it's super warm. This like fluffy lining goes like all the way inside of the jacket. We do still have days that are cold enough to warrant wearing it. So we're gonna hold on to her. I feel like this warrants a zoom out. This is incredible. I feel like the, the camera is not doing it justice. It is like truly a like purple to green iridescent trench coat and I literally never wear it because despite what my fantasy self would tell me I'm not the kind of girl who is wearing an iridescent trench coat to class and also 
it makes this irritating swishing noise whenever I move. And so like, I never ever wear it. Like I got this many years ago and I have literally worn it once. So as sad as it is, I'm gonna let this one go. All right, moving on to shoes. We are starting out with what is, in my opinion, a pretty easy win. These are super cute little boots. Really the only pair of like tall boots that I have. These go with everything. For me, this is a pretty easy keep. These are my wonderful hiking boots. I wear these literally every time I go on a walk that is longer than 10 minutes. So I am definitely also going to keep these. So these are my Doc Martens. I do definitely wear these all the time. Can I even really call myself an artist if I don't keep my pair of Dog Martens? I don't think so. So I'm gonna keep these. Okay, so these are my pair of Nikes that are pretty much as old as time. Literally, I think that this is the oldest pair of shoes in my closet. And like on a conceptual level, I actually really like them. I just feel like I don't wear them very frequently, but also I... I think that that is mostly circumstantial, but I am confident that I will return to wearing these at least semi-frequently at some point in the future, possibly even the near future. So I'm going to hold on to these because like shoes especially, I don't want to have to buy any more shoes. So these are, these, these are gonna keep. For me, mostly these are my backyard shoes. They are what I use to like go feed the chickens and grab the mail. And they're just like, they're slippers essentially that I wear outside. Um, and while they aren't gonna win any fashion points, I am gonna keep them because they live next to the back door and they're just always what I slip on if I need a pair of shoes. These are the most beautiful, witchy little pair of boots. I love these. Unfortunately, my toe comes up to like here. These are way too big on me. And um, that means that they are uncomfortable. I never wear them. And I think that if I did wear them, they would be dangerous to walk in. They're like seriously a full size too big for me. Um, so as sad as it is, these I am gonna let go. These are the first of my three pairs of what I would consider to be like fancy or formal shoes. And um, these are by far my least favorite. I can't really walk in heels this high. They're super uncomfortable. I don't, I don't think that I will ever be going to an event as fancy as to warrant wearing these. So I'm gonna let these ones go. <laughs> this is my second pair of like fancy shoes and I think that this one is the one that I'm gonna have the easiest time keeping. They're my only pair of flats. And like out of all three pairs, these are the ones that I'm like most likely to reach for like because they're flats. That makes them a win in my book. <laughs> and my final pair of fancy shoes. These, <sighs> these are the hardest for me because here's the deal. I've had these for many years and I have worn them about twice. And by that measure, I should not keep these. But as somebody who doesn't just see clothing as like a means to an end, but like an art form in of itself, these shoes are beautiful. If I'm going to own a pair of platform heels, it is going to be this one. Like if I get rid of these, I'm really never going to own another pair of platform heels for the rest of my life. And for that reason, I'm kind of loath to get rid of them. It's not like they're taking up a huge amount of space in my wardrobe. I'm not looking at them and thinking, oh God, I wish that I had an excuse to wear these. I just look at them and think that they're beautiful. And like, isn't that kind of the point of having nice things in your wardrobe? Like these bring me joy, even if it's in a kind of like unconventional and impractical way. And I think for that reason, I am going to keep them even if it doesn't like make a whole lot of sense. Okay, this is another pair of shoes that I think are just the coolest thing ever, but that I never wear. Um, and unlike the last pair, I actually, have a lot less affection for these. I went through this little phase 
that was much more alternative and like edgy and cool than what I would consider my current style to be. And while these are easily like the coolest variant of that personal style that I once had, I just don't see myself wearing these ever again. And because it no longer reflects what I enjoy in clothing, I don't really like get that same happy, satisfied feeling from just owning them that I do with the platform heels. So I think that I am gonna let these go. And for the record, I do actually also have a pair of New Rocks, which is what this brand is, um, that are technically mine, but not currently in my possession. They are off hanging out with my sibling. <laughs> And um, to be honest, they're like way cooler than these ones are. I also don't wear them very frequently. That's why I am letting my sibling have them. But um, th that pair might be more of a mixed bag. But this I am definitely okay with getting rid of for good. Okay, and last up for like real shoes is my tiny mini knockoff Uggs. They're not real Uggs, they're some other sort of thing. And um, I think that I'm gonna keep these. Okay, and these I am not gonna dry on for reasons that are hopefully obvious, <laughs> but um, I cannot roller skate. However, I have not given up on my dream of being able to roller skate. So I'm gonna hold on to these because it's kind of like the platform heels situation. Like these just bring me so much joy to have in my closet. Um, and I am determined, I am determined to learn how to roller skate. Like that is on the to-do list of things that I want to do. So these are going to stay, even though they're so ridiculous. And for the curious, this is the pile that we're keeping. This is our maybe pile. And this is everything that we're saying goodbye to. I think that, well, obviously these piles are going to look smaller when they're all folded up and condensed. We made pretty good progress. Hey y'all, thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you are interested in any of the things that I decided to declutter, which um, I think will also include some things that you did not see because I definitely have forgotten about some things in the various nooks and crannies of my household, uh, feel free to check out my Depop. Obviously my friends and family are gonna get first dibs on all of this. My hope is that everything, with the exception of the things that like were legitimately very expensive, will be listed for pretty much dirt cheap. Because really my goal is not to make a profit, it's just to like get all of this stuff to like homes where they will be kept. Because like, I could give it to a thrift store, but like, most of the stuff that is donated to thrift stores is thrown away, so for me, that's kind of going to be a last resort for all of the stuff that hasn't sold in three to six months. But. If you're watching this video within three to six months of it being published, feel free to check out my Depop. Anyways, thank you again for watching this video. I hope that you have a wonderful rest of your day. If you are decluttering, I hope that it goes well for you. And I will see you next time. Bye. Love you.